Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a really easy nail art tutorial using all of these polishes here just to create a fall pumpkin inspired nail art. So the first polish you're going to need, this is Ciate's Cookies and Cream 058, a Lime Crime nail polish in Peaches and Cream. This is one of my favorite Sally Hansen Insta Dry in 460 Snappy Sorbet. And this is an essence color to go in just in case. I'd prefer a matte brown, but I couldn't find one. First thing you're going to do is just do two coats of your Ciate Cookies and Cream as a base color. You can pick any color you like. I just like this one. I found it worked really well. Also, don't forget to let both coats dry completely before starting with the nail art. So to create the initial pumpkin shape, I just laid my brush down to get a dot and then pulled it straight off the free edge of my nail. Patting it down a second time to create that indent where the top of a pumpkin stem usually is, I just kind of filled in the area making sure there was no brown showing outside around the free edge of my nail. So you can see the finished outline of the pumpkin. Uh, you could even stop here if you want, add a little stem and be done with it, but I wanted to get a little bit detailed with it. Um, so I took this brush here that I made myself, don't make fun of it, and I picked up my uh, darkest orange shade. And as you can see, I'm not doing a very good job drawing the outline of the pumpkin. Um, I guess I don't really have a very steady hand to do this. I know the camera's a bit shaky because it's hanging. Um, I don't really have a good tripod. But I pretty much just outlined the lightest orange and then drew some lines down from that center point just to create the 3D effect of a pumpkin. So there you can see my horrible um, dark outline there. And then from there I just mixed the two colors together, the lightest and darkest orange, and tried to add a bit of highlight. I'm adding a bit of dark in the center here. It's all about layering your color, um, trying to get what looks good. I've mixed a little bit of the light with the dark to fill in the whole area. As you can see, my little palette in the back there, I've mixed the colors all together. But right now I'm just filling in the whole area so not a lot of that lighter color shows through. You want to create lows and highs in the color um, using your nail polishes. So now you can see I'm taking a lot of the lightest color and just a little bit of the dark just to create some highlights. And like I said before, just build up the color. If you don't like what it looks like, you can just keep working at it, adding a little bit more dark, adding a little bit more light. But on camera, this doesn't look that good. I went in after and added a bit more highlight and really defined those um, curved lines that I had created first, just to make it a bit more noticeable from a distance. And here's where I get a bit frustrated. Yeah. It's what are you gonna do? What are you gonna well, do, these mate? nails look pretty <laughs> horrendous. But the last thing you have to do is just add a little bit of brown. Like I said, I'd prefer a matte brown, but I didn't have one. So I'm just creating the stem here. And obviously I went back and added a little bit more light in the center. You could really do anything you like. Um, adding a little bit of dark, a little bit of light, but I really think these turned out well. Just the overall making them process was a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. Um, anywho, that's it. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing if you've liked what you've seen. Um, hope everyone's having a great fall and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.